Hey, all right, so I'm going to work on repairing my Sega Game Gear right here. Uh, I've got the power cord. Let's plug it in to see what happens. So it was sold to me as not working. And I don't know, you can kind of, you can see that it does boot. The screen is just really, really dim and there's no sound. So like if you look at it straight on, it just looks dead. But if you look at it at right angle, you can see it is working and it is playable. So, what I'm gonna do is work on repairing this by replacing the capacitors. So the first thing to do is take out the game. I just have Sonic 2. Take off the battery covers. And then get out your screwdriver. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six screws and a security screw to get. And I just bought a kit of capacitors off of eBay. So we'll see how they do. It's quite a variety, so hopefully I'll have everything that I need. Okay, so that's all of the regular screws. And then what you need is a security bit driver. We need is a security bit driver. This is a 4.5 millimeter one. And that is what you need to take that screw out. So with all that undone, it pops apart. And now we've got some Little connectors here that should so let me pull out. Okay. All right. So now we've got a handful of capacitors on this board here. This is going to be the sound board here. This is going to be the power board. And then this is the main contraption. So all of these are the capacitors here. And they're glued down a little bit. And they, I can see that some of these have leaked. So what we need to do is get at it with the soldering iron. and get those old ones off so we can put our new ones on. And unfortunately, the pack that I bought is not surface mount capacitors. They're just good old electrolytics, so we'll go with that. So these are glued down a little bit on the back side here. Oop, broke that one a little bit. I guess that's one way to get the glue off though. So, oh, you know what? I'm gonna grab my tweezers. So with tweezers in hand and soldering iron, I'm gonna heat up the pads and work these off. Okay. One capacitor down. Mm, and it's got that fishy smell. So what I'm gonna do now is hit it with a little fresh solder. Okay. And I'm also 
going to clean it up a little bit since I'm here. And take a little alcohol and kind of scrub at this. Clean off some of that old gunk. Okay. So that was a 22 microfarad. And that was a six volt one. And capacitors, you can go up in voltage as long as the capacitance is the same. So what we'll do here, is we'll take our little new capacitor and we will snip it. This is my first time attempting to repair one of these. Shorter leg is negative. Definitely not a huge fan of how some of this is turning out, but you can see I'm just slowly replacing the capacitors. Now I'm going to start on these over here. I need a 10. They're pretty well frozen. All right, so what I'm going to do, get a little new solder on there. Sometimes a little fresh solder can help. Oh no, I think the pad came with that one. Pretty sure. Let's look. See if we can get any fresh stuff to stick. It seems like some fresh stuff stuck. It doesn't look like the pad came with it. That one actually came off nice and easy. Now I'm melting my bracket a little bit. <laughs> Doing good, making progress. Had one almost sneak past me, right there. We're almost done with this side though. There we go. That wasn't much fun, but we got it. Oh, 
All right. That side is done. And I just got one more to do on this board. Very nice. Okay. That looks like all the capacitors on this board. Awesome. Now we're gonna work on the soundboard. So first things first, I'm gonna get my little screwdriver and work on taking out all of these little screws. You can clearly see that there's been corrosion. Some of those caps have leaked. So, we'll get to fixing it. So this is gonna be weird because these are surface mount caps that I'm removing. And the old electrolytics that I'm replacing it with. So that's weird, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flow some fresh solder on. Ooh, that's a lot of, that's a lot of mess. So, I mean, I burnt the connector a little bit, but that's all right. So I'm gonna get some flux on there. Let's see what we can do to burn off some of this corrosion. Heat up these or these resistors as well. Kind of reflow them. Okay, it ain't pretty, but it's recapped. There's just gonna be a couple of screws. Pry tool here. This is glued down. And these are actually through hole. So good slash bad, I guess. So I got my capacitor in and solder it in place. Little brushy brush. Okay, last one. Let's work on getting this mess back together. All right, it all goes back together. Let's try putting our game in and our power. It's not good.
without a game, it doesn't do anything. Do we have a contrast? We do. What's best for the screen here? Look at that. Working again. I've never played this before. Oh no, my rings! So that's it running off of that. Let's get our screws back in. Whew, that was a challenge, finding six good AA batteries for this beast. This is much cooler. Ah. Oh no, I got no rings. I'm scared. Oh, what? All right, well, there we are. Working off of batteries and everything. Thanks for watching.